Hey guys, Rashid here from rmbsinglessons.com. Now, I didn't really get a request to do this one, but I did get a request to do Begoy, and I noticed this song, he's got this song, Angels Brought Me Here by Guy Sebastian, which is one of my absolute favorite songs, and I actually really feel like listening to it now, and I thought I'll do a reaction on it. <laughs> confidence lang ha Okay, Sebastian. Wow, okay, sige. Parin mo nga sa amin, Jay. Go! Saan niya matutunan niyang ganyang klase ng pag-awit? Plaka. Plakang-plaka siya. Oo, plakang-plaka. Pero malinis yung boses. Yun na nga, yung malinis yung boses. Ang klaro ng boses niya. Natural yung boses na mga pari. Tenderness I feel He would know It would be clear That angels brought me Hey For you could feel the tenderness I feel. You would know it would be clear that the angels brought me here. Actually, Earth Angel, mo kung kaibigan mo nagsab. Wow. Get to get, get to get, time on, get. Sana apat ang kamay ko. The angels brought me her. Hey, get to get, get to get, time on. Hey, relax lang. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, they brought me here. Okay, so sana makapasok pa. Dahil maayos natin yan. No, Bugoy, alam mo, gusto ko na makapasok. Okay, wow, man. Oh, he killed it. You know what? I love it when they just do raw, like no, just a cappella. That's what I mean, like a cappella, you know, no music, no nothing. Those auditions just hit me and just reminds me of Guy Sebastian's um, original when he did his first audition. It sounds so similar, man. Do you guys know Guy Sebastian? I'm not sure if you um, you probably know Philos, but this guy's voice, wow, he could do it so tight. The only thing, he changed the melody up a bit, I think because it got high. I don't know if he started too high or if he just doesn't can't go that high. Let's have a listen. Let me just check the key of the song. Go! Into the sunset of your glory Where my heart and future lies Chai. so tight man you know how hard that is to do runs that clean Fwah. it sounds so perfect when he does it god damn heart in future lies. Chai. Lies. Chai. Lies. a lot of detail there that's why it sounds so impressive Chalice, Ah, oh, really beautiful when he does it. There's nothing like that feeling when I look. Now, a bit of accent here. There's nothing like that feeling. A little bit. It's not like fully the English, like the way Guy would sing it. There's nothing like that. A little bit different vowels. How Guy actually does it. So that's probably like the, the Filipino, but he's 
the Filipino accent, but it's so close. It's really good, though. I just wanted to point it out because I'm analyzing everything. There's nothing like that feeling. That feeling. Hear the difference? He said, that, 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 that. The little difference is there. And he's hitting the T really hard, whereas Guy won't hit the T as hard as that. That won't, won't put that much. Yeah, uh, little note there. Came true for eyes. My dream. Beautiful for bright eyes. Tight. Dreams came true. When true, true. He just adds that in beautiful. And I find when I. Ah, oh, so beautiful. It's morning for me. My voice broke a little bit. I just woke up. Found you. I found you. You that vibrato so perfect if you want to learn vibrato like that which i highly oh damn it suppressed the wrong thing if you want to learn vibrato like that you just slow it down Ooh, I found you. Here, you, 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 just, you just slow it down and practice along with him I found you, my miracle, my miracle, so nice. Oh, it's a Unlike how they did this, like how they stopped his sound and then they started talking over it. It's annoying. Ugh. Super producers. <laughs> uh, I just want to check if he's like in the right key still. Let me just check the original song. Check that key. That's D. Yeah, he's in the same key. That and so, so beautiful. His falsetto slash head voice, really beautiful. And so, so, and so. It's really hard to do. He does it so beautifully, lovely. And the blend, like when he's changing from his chest into it, it's really hard to blend when you're singing so high in your chest. You're the end. It's already high, and then you're blending into your so. It's like a hard area to blend from, as opposed to you're the end. It's easier because it's lower. You know what I mean? He's killing it. Wow. The so beautiful, wow. So feel he would know. Feel so tight. Oh, it would be clear. Uh, accent's really strong on that part. It would be, it would be, it, it, it would. So feel he would know. It would be. It, it would be, would be. So the T's and the D's, and they're like, it's good English, but when you sing. English is a little bit different, so just have a listen to how Guy does it. It, it would be, he doesn't hit the, it, it, it would be, it would be, it would be, it would be. The difference? Yeah. That, the run, he keeps adding like these runs, it's so nice. I think Guy does that run, but he added a few other runs and he keeps good. Angels brought me hey. Now he, he goes to the higher key and it gets a bit hard so he changes the melody 
and that's another thing amazing singers do when it gets too high for them or they want to modify maybe maybe he can do it but it's just maybe not his best day or something they modify the melody so that it fits their voice still when it stays in key so that's something that he does here could feel like they could feel instead of could feel I'm not singing it in a high could feel instead of belting it out that like in his chest he, he could feel he dropped it so that it's not too high for him the tenderness of feel he would know it would be clear that the angels brought me here that, that angels brought me here instead of that angels brought me here yeah oh, 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 oh. Uh, but he does it but guy does it in the higher octave that run kills me I know he can do it I know he could do it it was just probably too high and it looks like he was modifying the song to fit his voice at the time of the audition like how he was feeling but I'm sure he could do it because I can hear from the quality of his other runs that he can do something like that maybe not the high note but that depends it's hard to tell I'd have to watch more of his performances to tell but um well wow, like the, the way that he modified it was really nice you know what I mean like it doesn't wreck it it just changes it for the limitation of the singer and that's a really smart thing to do from me here oh, oh, oh. oh really hard <clears throat> I'm surprised I did that <coughs> I just woke up but we need a bit more warm-up but that that is normally hard for me that's normally on my limit to do it with like full volume and everything but um so I totally get it why it's hard and why he changed it but it's actually really hard to change it that's what I'm respecting that's why I'm I'm saying it a few times because it's really hard to just change it like that on the fly now, I don't know what happened here with this person that came and helped him I don't know was it his mom was it his coach was it someone from the show it was interesting brought me I don't know if he, I don't know if he intentionally broke his voice there. I'm not sure what they're saying. Maybe you guys can tell me. But um, I don't know if he was doing it on purpose to be funny or, and what what's she saying? Is she telling him to relax his jaw or something so the notes come out better? I don't really believe in that, by the way. It's not from the jaw. It comes from here. It's all it's all just the throat. Like when you speak, you feel it here, and your breathing muscles are related as well. Like if you don't take enough air in, it won't come out properly. But if she's telling him to relax his jaw to get the notes, that's not really what the case is. The case is he just has to train more to get his notes higher so that he's more comfortable on high notes. It's kind of like weights or push-ups. If you can do 10 push-ups, um, that's like doing a lower note. And then you want to build up to be able to do the high notes. It's like learning how to do 100 push-ups within like one session. So you got to build that ability gradually over time. It's not about just like relaxing your jaw or something or changing your breathing technique or something it's like you got to build it build the strength gradually so they can sing higher but um he's very close i really respect his voice it's stunning and his falsetto is stunning his blend oh i'm so jealous of his falsetto and the blend and his run quality oh the tune it's perfect it's not shaky at all it's just tight oof i love it Thanks for sending me this guy, and uh, I'll get to his other ones. I did check out the One Day one, but it was like really reggae, and I wasn't that into it, honestly. So I stopped the reaction like halfway through because I just I felt like I wasn't really reacting to anything. But if you, uh, so I just listened to like the first minute and a half, and uh, yeah, it just it just wasn't my jam that much. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I'll check it out again if I get enough requests, but I, 
I don't really want to. Maybe some other. I'll just do, do some other ones like this one that I really like because I feel it's like more of a genuine reaction, and I've got more to say when it's something that I kind of vibe with a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'll catch you guys. That just shows you like everyone's picky about what they like to listen to, and that genre was just. I don't know, it just depends on the song. Like sometimes I don't feel the song that much and sometimes I really like it and I've got a lot to say. So anyway, okay guys, I'm Rashad Hayek, I'm be singing lessons.com. If you guys want to learn how to sing and come check out my website just there and also check out my transformation. I love to see what you think about it. Leave a comment on my transformations. Uh, I couldn't always sing like this, okay? I had to learn and people like Bogoy's voice, people like Guy Sebastian, they really inspired me to sing inspired me to make these before and after so you can see what, so you can see what I used to sound like and what I sound like now hey guys I kind of do here's what I used to sound like I couldn't actually sing that So you can see a big difference in the quality of my voice there. So if you, the people that want to sing, I'm getting a lot, a lot of messages from people that like singing and they're saying they're learning. If you want to learn more, check out my site, check out my YouTube channel, so many free videos there. And try some lessons out or try, try my courses out. And I just want to inspire you and let you know that you can get better if you really want to. There is a way to do it. All right, see ya.